Viz Media announces Neon Alley, a 24-hour online network. Huh. Let's talk about that. Alright, let's talk about this. This is very, 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 very interesting. I'm curious at how this all is going to go down. Um, so, yeah, basically this is a 24-hour service of, like of online content just for anime so a 24 hour lineup is just gonna it's like gonna build up with this so it's this whole show and it's gonna just be online it's like it's almost like a television service like if you were to um watch something at a specific time this is what this does basically you have like um zetman on, on one time because zetman is, is gonna get a dub apparently so zetman is gonna be on there there's gonna be tiger and bun is gonna be on there there's gonna be the berserk movie is gonna be on there and it's just like they're gonna be or it's not a movie i think it's an ova or something something like that but Berserk's gonna be on there, and so basically, this is just gonna be like a whole lineup of like an, like anime and stuff like that, so people can go to to watch the anime dubbed, and then uh you have to pay a subscription fee for this um service, and the service is just basically like um Crunchyroll, and it's seven bucks. Now um it, it's it's a good idea, it is a good idea because it's finally getting uh more anime out there. It, I mean, but it's online. But it's getting the more anime out there. You can uh, you you can tune in to watch the stuff that's on here. So you know, it, it, you'll probably, if you're a big anime fan like myself, I'll probably be on here all day or something. But you know, it's 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 a good it's a good idea of, only for the fact that it promotes more anime and it gets anime out there. And you know, it, it's 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 nice. It's nice. But there's a lot of downsides. I downsides I see to this. The thing is, there are a lot of people, and it's, it's, it's just, oh yeah, I have to mention, it is just all dub. I don't, I don't think there's going to be any sub in this. So, all you're going to be hearing is dub, and, and I know there's a lot of people that don't like dubs for some reason. I don't know why exactly, but they don't like dubs, so that's one of the reasons why people are probably not going to pay for this thing, and or watch this stuff, you know? And the other problem with it is actually it's lineup stuff. Not, not necessarily the show, it's just how it, it's like a TV, it's like a television network. This needs to be on television, not online. Because the thing is, you can't, uh, to me, you just can't make TV convert to online. And you, if, if you know what I'm getting at, like, you can't just have a schedule set for certain things and then people, you expect people to watch it online. People like the the ability to watch something at any moment. They not wait for a scheduled timing. I'm, I'm almost certain that's why people, like, go to the internet because it's there and they can watch it at any moment as opposed to watching it online. It's the same thing with, with Pop Pop Top Top. Uh, while Tsunami is probably going through a little bit of, of a struggle, maybe because it's even saying that Tsunami's not hitting the rates, hitting the ratings that they need. I guess I'm not exactly sure, but it is gradually growing more and more. But people are still gravit gravitating towards watching it online, or watching it on a dub site, or watching it somewhere else, as opposed to watching it on television, where you, they, you, you can actually support it. This can actually support anime. You're only spending seven dollars a month, which is not bad at all. It's the same thing as Crunchyroll, but but the thing is. It's not like Crunchyroll because the thing is, this is a 24-hour service that shows anime through a lineup. Crunchyroll, once you pay seven dollars, you're you get to see all kinds of anime everywhere, all the stuff. Honestly, you, you know, and there is no time limit to when it, you know, when you want to watch. You can watch at any moment. I don't know if you can actually like try to record stuff within, you know, the computer. You know what I'm trying to say? It's just it's not necessarily the best idea because of how this is a 24-hour service thing and. It's just you've got you're kind of, I think you're set up onto a lineup. I'm pretty sure you can probably watch it later though. I wouldn't I wouldn't believe that they just be like it airs here and then you can't watch it anymore. Like, that'd be kind of that'd be kind of dumb to me. But I'm pretty sure they can probably you can probably watch it at any moment, which negates that fact. Then, but the whole point is, it's just I don't know if this is really gonna work out. Really, is the fact that it's all dub for one, because I know a lot of people don't like dubs, and it's just. It, I don't know. It's just it's, it's. I don't know if this is really gonna be enough. And it's an online service, you know. You can watch most of the stuff online for free anyway. But at the same time, it's, if you want to support anime, it's the best way you can do it. It's cheap and stuff. So I mean, I understand the concept between it. So I'm like 50/50 and mixed with this whole thing. You know what I'm saying? And it's just honestly, if you were if you were to either, either go to a, a service that you want to pay for, either Crunchyroll or uh, this, I'd, I'd probably pay for Crunchyroll because I watch more stuff. Sub than there is dubbed and it's just, you know what I'm saying but this is it's a nice start honestly to have some dub anime where you can actually watch it online legally and stuff like that because there aren't really any sites you can watch dub legally like Funimation has some stuff out of course you can watch it on there but you know it's Funimation I haven't really found any other stuff that really you know you can watch like other stuff that's not from Funimation you know what I mean I mean it's it's, it's, it's a it's a it's a 50 50 plan here I mean it, it can work 
but I can see the, the potential of failing as well. So, um, what are you guys' thoughts on this whole, um, you know, Viz Media announcement for this Neon Alley? That's what it's called. So, what are you guys' thoughts on this? Leave your comments below and tell me what you think about it. Like if you like this uh, um, anime news video and subscribe, subscribe, ah, subscribe to my channel for some more. <laughs> uh, so, tongue tied right now. So, yeah, it's been the Break Mask. Until then, break out.